dewatering is the removal of water from solid material or soil by wet classification, centrifugation, filtration, or similar solid liquid separation processes, such as removal of residual liquid from a filter cake by a filter press is part of various industrial processes. Construction dewatering, unwatering, or water control are common terms used to describe removal or draining groundwater or surface water from a riverbed, construction site, kesson, or mine shaft, by pumping or evaporation. On a construction site, this dewatering may be implemented before subsurface excavation for foundations, shoring, or cellar space to lower the water table. This frequently involves the use of submersible dewatering pumps centrifugal pumps, adductors, or application of vacuum to well points. Processes equals Deep wells equals, A deep well typically consists of a boreholes fitted with a slotted liner and an electric submersible pump. As water is pumped from a deep well, a hydraulic gradient is formed and water flows into the well forming a cone of depression around the well in which there is little or no water remaining in the pore spaces of the surrounding soil. Deep wells work best in soils with a permeability of K equals 10 or 3 meters per second to 10 or 5 meters per second. The amount of drawdown that a well can achieve is limited only by the size of the pump. Deep wells can be installed in a ring around an excavation to lower the water level and maintain a safe, dry site. Several equations can be used to design deep well dewatering systems, however, many of these are based on empirical data and occasionally fail. Practice and experience, along with a firm understanding of the underlying principles of dewatering, are the best tools for designing a successful system. Some dewatering situations are so common that they can be designed almost by rule of thumb. Deep wells are also used for aquifer testing and for groundwater drainage by wells. Equals well points equals, well points are small diameter tubes with slots near the bottom that are inserted into the ground from which water is drawn by a vacuum generated by a dewatering pump. Well points are typically installed at close enders in a line along or around the edge of an excavation. As a vacuum is limited to zero bar, the height to which water can be drawn is limited to about 6 meters. Well points can be installed in stages, with the first reducing the water level by up to 5 meters, and a second stage, installed at a lower level, lowering it further. The water trickling between the deep wells may be collected by a single row of well point at the toe. This method ensures a much thicker width free from seepage forces. Well point spears are generally used to draw out groundwater in sandy soil conditions and are not as effective in clay or rock conditions. Open pumps are sometimes employed instead of spears if the ground conditions contain significant clay or rock content. Equals horizontal drainage equals, the installation of horizontal dewatering systems is relatively easy. A trencher installs an unperforated pipe followed by a synthetic or organic wrapped perforated pipe. The drain length is determined by the drain diameter, soil conditions and the water table. In general drain lengths of 50 meters is common. After installation of the drain pipe a pump is connected to the drain. After the water table has been lowered, the intended construction can start. After the construction is finished the pumps are stopped, and the water table will rise again. Installation depths up to 6 meters are common. Control of pore pressures, whilst engineers can use dewatering to lower a groundwater table, or to drain soils, they can also use the process to control pore pressure in soils and avoid damage to structures by base heave. High pore pressures occur in soils composed of fine silts or clays. Since these soils have a very low permeability, dewatering in a traditional sense may prove very costly or even futile. Instead, a vacuum-assisted dewatering scheme, such as ejector wells, or vacuum-sealed deep wells may serve to draw water into a well for abstraction. See also, Geotechnical Engineering. References Admir Eurasia Admir Eurasia. Further reading, Edman, Wilfred. Emanuel Rolmerschik. International State of the Art and Tendencies in the Fields of Thickening and Dewatering. Inislaw Blaschk. New Trends in Coal Preparation Technologies and Equipment. Gordon and Breach Publishers pages 89 a Euro 93.
ISBN 978-2-88449-139-6. OCLC 60279792. Retrieved May 15, 2009. Powers, J. Patrick. Construction Dewatering, New Methods and Applications. New York City, John Wiley & Sons. ISBN 0-471-60185-3. OCLC 24502054. Retrieved May 15, 2009. Spellman, Frank A. Dewatering Biosolids. Boca Raton, Florida, CRC Press. ISBN 1-56676-483-1. OCLC 36556585. Retrieved May 15, 2009. Swarovski, Ladislav. Solid Liquid Separation. Oxford, Butterworth Heinemann. Pages 3. ISBN 0 7506 4568-7. OCLC 45103009. Swarovskia. I.S. P.K. Matthau. Dewatering. Wastewater Sludge Processing. Hoboken, New Jersey, John Wiley & Sons pages 106 a Euro 135. ISBN 0-471-70054-1. OCLC 61821712. Retrieved May 15, 2009.